Hello everyone, today's tutorial does not include geometry nodes. Uh, I want to show you my Photo Studio light setup for glass objects with a perfect white background and a, a bottom with some reflections. The glass object itself has the typical clear look as you might know it from the Absolute Vodka commercials. So if you want to know how to create that, just watch that video. So I came up with the idea for that short tutorial when I recently had to create some visuals of glass objects for a client and I uh, started to imagine how a real photographer would uh, do that and I created uh, these typical uh, round tables. I don't know the English expression for that. And um, I made some experiments with uh, light from the side, uh, from the top and added some some uh, black walls to create that typical uh, look where the edges are pretty dark and the background is white and so on. But um, uh, somehow it, it, it looks okay, uh, of course, but um, it's not the typical professional look I want to create uh, because my client had that uh, typical visual of the of the absolute vodka advertising uh, in his head and um, I just did not uh, come close to that uh, image with that kind of setup with uh, only that white table and the lights so I had to think of something different and uh, the setup I created uh, is following. Uh, I created, first of all, that's my class object. And I created a plane. And uh, I gave the plane some uh, white glossy material. I think I named that one floor. Yes, that's right. And uh, the second uh, thing I created was a backlight. Where is my light? Uh, an area backlight. So I put that right behind my class object, rotated uh, with 90 degrees. Something like that, and made it exactly as big as my table. And the problem now is that uh, there is light, but of course uh, we have a dark background. So um, to change that, Activate the light and go to the, uh, how's it called? The object properties panel and go to viewport visibility, no, to visibility and um, activate visible for camera. And instantly we got our backlight and it's now also visible for the camera. So it's uh, pretty the, the same like um, some kind of, uh, uh, area which is uh, has has some uh, emission um, material. The problem with um, emission materials is that they uh, cause much more noise than uh, normal direct light, and especially when you have uh, when it comes to animation, um, it can be pretty annoying um, to reduce the noise afterwards. So um, I prefer to work with uh, normal direct light and no indirect or uh, light coming from shaders. So um, that looks already uh, cool, but of course we want to have also some, uh, some dark edges for, uh, at, the, uh, at the class. Um, and to create that, first of all, we have to create some additional lights at the side. Uh, and therefore we take some area lights and we make it as big as our table just copy that and rotate it so just from the other side now we have a very bright uh, visual and um, that looks okay, um, but we still need these dark edges. I also tried to create these dark edges with um, HDR environments, but um, I did not have uh, enough control and it always uh, looks uh, not 
as good as I wanted to and it did not look uh, symmetrically. Um, so to have that symmetrically look, we will have to add a wall, plane at the side, rotate it with 90 degrees and place it right before your light. And now we I delete that again. And now we give it a material that is called, uh, I think I call it transparent black wall. And to see better what's going on, we also um, make these two side lights uh, visible to the camera. So something like that. So what I did now is to, um, I added some kind of transparency um, to these side walls. They have a black material at the side, at, at the beginning or at the end, uh, depending on which side you want to view. And um, now it's getting more and more transparent. And um, as you can see now, that it already starts to um, adding some black edges. And now you can copy that wall just to the other side. So make sure that the wall is uh, in front of your light. So something like that. And we also can duplicate it again and rotate it and make some kind of roof. 90 degree. Make a little bit brighter, uh, wider. And we push it to the top. And that one is too low. And now we have something like that. Um, I can show you the material. It's just a texture coordinate that to object uh, with a mapping node. And the mapping node, um, I have rotated the, the color ramp or the gradient by 45 degree and I moved it a little bit to the back. You can uh, add these values like you wish. And I added a color ramp. With the color ramp, I can control the, the fade of the black and the white. And that color ramp goes into the gradient texture and the gradient texture goes into the alpha channel. And the rest of uh, the base color is uh, totally black. And you can play with these values until it gets, you have got something um, you like. So that's my wall material. And when we jump back to our uh, class object, you now can see uh, we have some, some dark edges going on. Uh, maybe we can increase that look with uh, a high contrast. And now you can play with these values by increasing the dark color. So you can move it forward or you can make the edge more harsh. Uh, not that. Uh, we have to bring that a little bit forward so that it's symmetrically. And um, you can now control the, uh, the sharpness of the dark white fade. Um, and as you can see now, we got some cool looking glass with uh, dark edges. Maybe we bring these dark edges and the lights a little bit closer to our glass. And now we got uh, the typical look that you maybe know from the Absolute Vodka uh, advertising. Hope you learned something and you um, and it helps my tutorial, though. So, um, hope you see you next time. Bye.